Uh, well, this isn't exactly how I had my day planned out. But here we are on the side of the highway with the four ways going. What actually happened was I was bagging up a road train just back there. Next thing, smoke coming out everywhere from under my trailer. Thanks to old mate there for actually backing it off and letting me uh, get over. Because what had happened is my brakes had actually fully locked on on the trailer and I was coming to a stop pretty quick smart and burning up some bloody rubber. So we'll get to uh, having a look at those flat tops, uh, flat spots on the tyres and see exactly how much damage I've done. <laughs> Cheers, old mate. Uh, I can sort of see there is a bit of burnt rubber underneath them. So hopefully I haven't totally stuffed them, but going 100k an hour and uh, dragging them for the better part of 400 metres, 500 metres before I could get over and and come to a stop is not good for tyres, not good for tyres at all. So I've climbed under and had a look, and the drama is, and what's caused all this is one of these. Yep, little hose clamp. So we'll get under there and have a look at a moment, but it looks like one of these is failed, broken, and the hose to the booster, the brake booster, has just popped straight off, air's run out, and the safety feature for the truck it's automatically just locked on the brakes as soon as uh, you run out of air. So we'll get under there, we'll have a look, and we'll fix her up. And hopefully, we'll be back on the road soon. Now, you look down there into the distance in the right hand lane. That is Tone's tyres. You bloody beauty, eh? You can actually see up the end there where they initially locked off. I've done well to get it here. So again, thanks to old mate driving that road train. Otherwise, there, yeah, I might have actually been coming to a stop in that right hand lane. And there's our issue right there. And there's our hose. So that's how simple it can be at times. Actually, the uh, the old one's here. So a bit mangled and cut up. So all we got to do is get the new one, put the hose over the top, tighten it back on. I'll probably then roll forward about six inches and inspect the tyres, but then we should be go. Good to go. <laughs> I've got the two new hose clamps on it. The new one I've got, a little bit lighter, so I'm not you know, too trusting with that one, but it's to get me out of trouble, and that's the main thing, before I can uh, get a decent clamp on it. But I'm actually able to use, reuse the old one too that wasn't totally stuffed, it just, uh, just come a little bit loose, I think. So I'd rather have two on here now to get me through. Oh, buddy, mongrel. But she should be happy days here. Quick little fix, but who knows, I might have absolutely stuffed all my tyres and I might be uh, up the creek a few grand. So hopefully once I roll forward a little bit, once I tighten these up, build up my air. You probably could have moved over in the right hand lane, old mate, but anyway. Um, yeah, we'll inspect the tyres and uh, make sure the flat spots aren't too bad. There's obviously got to be some sort of damage, but hopefully it's minimised. So there you go, she's good to go now. Let's check out the rest. Alrighty, so the only saving grace we got here at the moment is it was the air that was supplying just the brake boosters on the back axle. So that's where the damage is going to be. It's not going to be these front two axles. Well, if I let it drag for another bloody three kilometres whilst not noticing smoke out the back, then yeah, it would have got the whole lot. But it was just the back axle that wasn't getting the air that cut it out. So I'll back it up slightly and let's assess the damage. You don't get much of a bigger flat spot than that. They are absolutely rooted. <sighs> Jesus. All right, let's go have a look at the other side, eh? Oh, bloody hell. All right. Oh. Yep, equally as bad. Have a look at that. That's genuinely flat. Yeah, bloody oath, yeah. You can press a four leaf clover in between those two perfectly. Anyway, so now I'm going to uh, find somewhere up the road. Luckily, I'm empty, so I'm going to get by for a little bit till I can buy a tyre joint. But the lesson learned here really isn't too much because uh, hose clamps they will go from time to time, and this stuff happens. I've said it before, and I hate saying it. That's trucking, I suppose. 
but always carry some uh, some spares and that type of stuff in there because if you don't have them, next thing you've got to call out as well. And apart from paying a bit over a grand for some new tyres, you've also got to call out for someone to get you a bloody hose clamp. All right, so we've got Matt here. Matt actually pulled up right at the end when I was just about ready to go to uh, make sure I was all right. So it's bloody good that people still do that. So thanks for that, Matt. Oh, no, there's no worries, mate. Can't have yeah. it on the side of the road. That's it. And he even went one step further and um, and gave me a, a personalised ex escort to this set up here in what town are we in? Uh, Granock. Granock, there you go. Yeah. So he's offered uh, for me to have a nice little shower. If, um... Yeah, you can clean yourself though, mate. I won't, I'll, I'll let you do it yourself. All right. That's it. 